Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about um, the question if there are too many Linux distributions out there. I know some people think yes and I personally think no. Well, if I go to DistroWatch, I see that there are about 600 distros out there. Uh, yeah, that seems... <laughs> Uh, too many. Uh, think about a new user. Uh, a new user says, okay, I want to switch from Windows or from Mac OS to Linux. Uh, let's go. Now he visits the website of DistroWatch and what does he see? Oh, this is not Linux OS. No. And it's not Ubuntu and, and Linux Mint and Debian and Arch. No, there are many more distros. Why are there so many distros? And what should I personally choose? And this is a very tough question for the beginner. I know that. And some say this is confusing and it's not good for the Linux community because if someone wants to switch to Linux and he doesn't know uh, what is the difference between Arch Linux and Ubuntu and uh, Debian and OpenSUSE and Ferran OS or Solus? Let's, let's dive a little bit deeper. So maybe he just uh, turns back and says, OK, I have one Windows. This is simple. I, I go back. I don't want to ask myself if I should choose Arch or Debian or Ubuntu. And if I ask a Linux user, uh, the worst case is that someone who uses a distro says, OK, use that and all the other Linux distros are crap. You often can read that in, in chats or forums. And uh, you also can hear that in videos that someone says, OK, this is the only distro and the other distros are complete nonsense. You, you, you don't need them. So this is my take on that. I think it is very good that we have so many Linux distros. Yeah, there are too many. And why there are so many, I discuss in a minute. But for the moment, we have choice. If you use Windows or any other Microsoft product, you have no choice. You have to like Windows 10, Windows 11. There is no choice. You cannot say, OK, I don't like Windows 11. Uh, what other products uh, do you offer to me, Microsoft? Or I don't like Mac OS. What other distro can I use with Apple? They will say, none. Uh, use Windows 11. Use Mac OS. In Linux, we have the choice. We can use whatever we want. And this is good. Yes, choice is uh, complicated. Because if I want to choose right and I have to choose what, what's right for me, not for you, and not for another guy who tells you that blah, 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 distro is the best. No, it's the best for him or for her. But is it the best for you? You never know. And this makes it very hard to decide what you should choose. The thing is, you have the choice. You can say, OK, you like that, but I don't. I like that. Why do we have so much choice? Well, it's open source. Open source means that someone can uh, grab the code. And if he doesn't like what he sees in the code, he can say, OK, I make it different. I make it better. I have a vision because it, it's my dream of a perfect distro. And another guy says, OK, and I have another idea. And if you have the opportunity, well, that leads to choice. Because 
there is a vision and the outcome is a distro. There is a vision and the outcome is a distro. Another vision, the outcome is a distro. So that leads to something that is a questionable. I, I agree. If someone puts out a, a distro that is the same uh, that another distro, but the color of the background is green and not blue. Well, you can say, mm, do we need that distro with the green background instead of the blue background? And all the other things are similar or identical. Well, then I have to agree. <laughs> okay, maybe this distro is not necessary for anybody, except for the one who made it. And we saw that in the past. A distro that is not necessary will disappear. There are so many Linux distros that existed one year, two years, three years, and then the developers said, okay, that's it. There are other distros who are really passionate about what they're doing, who uh, develop new things. Uh, for example, Linux Mint developed the Cinnamon desktop. This is spectacular. This is new. Um, you can say, okay, uh, I can use the Cinnamon desktop on OpenSUSE or on Manjaro. Yes, that's true. But the Linux Mint team decided not only to develop a new desktop environment, but also uh, wanted to um, create a whole distro based on Ubuntu. And Ubuntu is, a, is based on Debian. Some people say, well, uh, the Ubuntu user is, is too lazy to use Debian. I think this is uh, too simple and it's, it's not true. Because uh, Ubuntu is not Debian. Ubuntu is uh, something new. I personally use Debian. You, you might know it uh, uh, because I said that very often. Um, but I understand why uh, Ubuntu exists. I understand why Linux Mint exists. And I am a guy who prefers to use stable distros. But I understand why there are rolling release distros out there. I, I know Arch Linux is, is good. It's good for people who want uh, the hottest, the newest, and all that kind of stuff. I don't need that. I'm not a gamer. I don't need the newest kernel, for example. I, I, don't, I don't need that stuff that Arch um, delivers. It, it's good that they do it, but I don't need it. So I prefer Debian Stable. Uh, it's enough for me. And I, I do many things. I, I'm writing books. I do everything with Linux and Stable is enough for me. But I agree, if, if I would be a gamer, Debian Stable uh, would be a little bit difficult. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. And here we are again, choice. Someone needs the newest stuff and another person like me doesn't need the newest stuff. So you have the choice. Do, do I use Arch Linux or Manjaro or do I prefer stable? And if there is not enough software uh, within Debian, I could decide to use Ubuntu or Linux Mint and if, if I want Gentoo, because I am a tinkerer, I, I want to do something with my computer. I want to build my, my system by myself. I, I, I don't want to uh, use what, what, what other people use. So maybe Gentoo is the, the right distro for you. So it depends what user you are. And so the choice is good. It's the same with cars, it's the same with food. Someone likes only cheese on the pizza. <laughs> and another person likes to have uh, ham on the pizza. Well, it depends. It's a matter of taste. And it's the same with Linux. It's a matter of taste, what you prefer. 
what I can say, and uh, you can read it here, Linux is cool. Windows, I, I don't think that Windows is cool. It's, it's an operating system, yes, but it's not cool. Linux is cool because you can do so many things with Linux and it's up to you to use it. Enjoy the choice. Uh, don't mess around with it. Enjoy what you, what you have, what we have, what Linux developers do for you. They, they think about, they have visions, we have dreams. Maybe some dreams are nonsense. Maybe they are stupid. <laughs> uh, but this is not the point. Uh, stupid dreams are better than no dreams. Thank you for watching my video. If you still hear and hear my words now, uh, well, we are in about 10 minutes into the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please um, give me a thumb because this is good for the YouTube algorithm. You know, YouTube likes channels who have thumbs. And if you do that, uh, this is good for me and this is good uh, because uh, people will find my channel in YouTube if they search for Linux. If you want to help me, yes, this is a very good thing. But if you don't like my content, yeah, well, I understand that you don't give me a thumb. <laughs> this would be stupid, yeah. Okay, but I hope you like my content. So this is it, Linux is cool. Stay tuned and I see you on my next video. Thanks and bye-bye.